Did you have any idea about this, Chris? No, I had no clue. Um, yeah. And uh, I, wait, I about what, about what specifically? No, yeah, because I mean, I've the... read the old Archie stuff. Oh, right. You and, didn't know about um, Sonic the Comet. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I really, really recommend it. Okay, so if we're yeah. talking like Sonic fan to Sonic fan, the great thing about Sonic the Comic, one of the best things about it was their depiction of Super Sonic. Mm -hmm. Because unlike the games where Super Sonic is essentially just a cop carbon copy of like Goku as the Super Saiyan, yep. they've basically turned Super Sonic into like essentially a demon that Sonic turns into when wow. he's either his his you know he can't control his stress or he's um exposed to chaos radiation, which is basically what the Chaos Emeralds have in Sonic, mm -hmm. the comic. Um, and basically, and it's, he, it's like a wild card character because he doesn't come out all of the time. But anytime the stakes are really, really high, there's a chance that he'll turn into Supersonic and make the stakes even higher because Supersonic is not a good guy in Sonic the comic. He's like mm -hmm. this insane psychopath who just wants to destroy everything. <laughs> and, and also, he's like, in terms of his power level, he's like on turret par with Superman. Like, oh, he's insanely powerful. The only reason that anyone survives is because he just enjoys to toying with people. He oh, wow. doesn't like to just kill you like that. He he wants to toy with you first. And so the only chance you have to beat him is to try and stall for long enough for him to change back into regular Sonic and not want to murder you on sight. It's, it's yeah. like a Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde. Yeah, I mean, I could go on, on and on about all of the really cool stuff in Sonic the Comic, but... Chris like, is, like, ordering all the backlog right now. I'm finding, like, oh, my God, yeah, definitely do. 